Uh, welcome guys first i want to create a um, new stm32 project having a printf function when writing a code is quite useful because we can easily debug our program but when it comes to the microcontroller, it's not the straightforward process to have printf function. In some cases, we will use wired communication to do that. But luckily in STM32 microcontrollers, we have serial wire viewer that allow us to use a printf function. In order to set up a serial wire viewer, first we have to open IOC file. Yeah. Then we go to clock configuration. Then uh, we have the following clock, 80 megahertz. Remember that. Then we can close it right now. We don't need that. Then if we go to source, system, syscalls uh, library, if we scroll down, we will find the following function. Uh, what we need to do is to copy this part of the code without this week. So we will define a new function with the same name. And we can just uh, paste it here between these comments. So this code will not be erased when generating code. Then instead of this function, we have to use itm as send char. Then we have to build our project. Then we go to debug configurations, debugger. Then if we scroll down, we have serial wire viewer just enabled. And, and as we uh, saw, we have 18 megahertz, but if you use another make control, another board, you might have different clock frequency. Just to write your clock frequency in, in this uh, on this place then we apply then we can press the back then go to window show view and serial wire view itm data console then we can we need to press configure trace and enable this uh, last port press OK, then by clicking this start trace, we can um, print um, some data on, on the console. Next, we can write some code to check our uh, printf function. So I write hello world. So it's important to use end line. Don't forget it. Then we have hal delay function. So let's say let's set one thousand millisecond delay. So every one second we will print hello world. So let's terminate and debug it again. So we can check this part of the code. Let's open ITM data console, make sure that this button is pressed. Then if we resume, as you see, we have hello world text on the console. So this means that we can easily use this printf function to print some important info when debugging our code. Finally, make sure that SWO line is connected to the appropriate pin of the microcontroller. Uh, for that purpose, you can just uh, check the data sheet of your, of your board. Uh, in my case, I use the following board. So I will search for SWO. There is usually a bridge uh, that disconnects or connects SWO signal to the appropriate pin of the microcontroller so make sure that this bridge is soldered 
in my case it is soldered by default but if it is not in your case just solder it to use a printf function through SWV